Sometimes it's kind of difficult to get your sketches fully constrained and in Cartier that's called isoconstraint. But there's a very useful feature, the so-called sketch analysis, which you would find here right at the bottom in my case. So that's the sketch analysis. That's just the sketch solving status. So let's go for the sketch analysis. And that window opens up and you've got three tabs. First one is for geometry. So warning non-manifold topology, which means uh, I've got sort of branches. So there's an implicit profile which is opened and it shows you the profile and it shows you the gap. Right there, those two cyan colored circles. Great. And what can you do? You could switch it to construction. You could erase it and you could close it. So just close that open profile and it's closed. Great. There's another closed profile. That's OK too. In this case, we got five curves. In this case, we got four curves. And there's also an isolated line right there, which you wouldn't notice if it would not be for that tool here. And we can, of course, delete it. Great. Next tab is for use edges. So if I would have referenced some of those elements to 3D elements or, for example, to that exosystem, system, those references would be listed here. And there are also options, useful options. And the third tab is for diagnostic, which shows you all the constraint, isoconstraint, or underconstraint geometries and constraints. And again, you could erase some and you could hide them and hide also the construction geometry. So if in any case you have problems with the sketches, just use that sketch analysis tool. So if you find these three minute cat videos useful, please give it a like or leave a comment. If you want to support me, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and you could also watch my LinkedIn learning courses because you can do a free trial month over there. So in any case, thanks for watching. See you to the next one. Bye bye.